بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد Being kind and gentle to one's parents and showing love and mercy and humility towards them is a characteristic which is called for throughout the Qur'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands it in the Qur'an. And the Prophet sallallahu also commanded this. And this is the characteristics that were shown and illustrated uh, all throughout the Sharia. And the Salaf as the righteous, the pious predecessors, beginning with the Sahaba and the Tabi'een, with Ba'a Tabi'een, you know, those people who follow the Sahaba, the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een, as well as the, as those who follow them in righteousness, radiallahu anhum ajma'een, rahmatullah alayhim, rahmatun wasi'ah, they also followed the same sunnah, the same way of being kind and gentle and respectful and being humble towards parents. And here's an ather of the salaf, a narration of the salaf, which illustrates this uh, perfectly. قَالَ حَدَّثَنَا أَبُو نُعِيم قَالَ حَدَّثَنَا سُفْيَان عَنْ هِشَامِ بِنْ عُرْوَةَ عَنْ أَبِيهِ قال وأخفض لهما جناها جناها الظل من الرحمة قال لا تمتنعوا من شيء أحباه and this is collected in uh, this is in from أداب مفرد إمام بخاري's book رحمة الله عليه in this narration of the salaf on the father of uh, the father of uh, Urwa or the father of Hisham he said rahmatullahi he mentioned the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and lower your wing to them in or with humility and mercy and then he mentioned and he said that you should not prohibit or you should not uh, refrain from anything that they love. Meaning that you should serve your parents. You should be kind and gentle towards them in providing for them and striving to do those things which they love. So what we learn from this hadith narration is we learn the humility and we learn that the Salaf and that Islam, you know, the pious predecessors, that they considered it of grave importance to have gentle uh, and, and righteous speech and actions towards one's parents. And that also that from piety is being humble and merciful and uh, being and, 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 and showing humbleness before one's parents. And another benefit that we derive from this, hadith, this uh, narration is that it also illustrates for us that it is legislated and preferred in Islam to and an obligation to for for the uh, children to strive to uh, to please the parents, meaning to give them those things and provide for them in a way and strive to please them in a way which is pleasing to them, meaning those things which they love that the children should strive to attain or strive to uh, provide for them. And I ask Allah the Almighty to bless us all and forgive us for our shortcomings in serving our parents and help us to be of those who practice. And bless us all to be of those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestows ilm nafiyah, ruskan tayyibah, wa amalan mutaqabbilan. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides us with beneficial knowledge, with actions and practicing that knowledge and 
uh, and, and ample wealth to be able to practice our religion and to be able to spend in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَصَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَمَ عَلَى نَبِيِّنَ مُحَمَّدٍ